वेलकम टू दिस सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी डिस्कस दी फॉलोइंग क्वेश्चन विच सेज इट इज अग्रीड दैट ए विल पे टू बी वन सिक्सटी डॉलर ऑन सिक्स अप्रैल टू थर्टी डॉलर ऑन थर्टीएथ अप्रैल वन फिफ्टी डॉलर ऑन सेवेंटीन मे टू हंड्रेड डॉलर ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स मे फाइंड द एवरेज ड्यू डेट टू फाइंड द एवरेज ड्यू डेट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी टेक एन आर्बिट्ररी fixed date as the zero date we assume p1 p2 p3 and so on the different payments due after D1, D2, D3, and so on, days respectively counted from the zero date that we assumed, and we take this capital D to be the equated. time of payment so we have the equated time of payment that is capital d is equal to p1 d1 plus p2 d2 plus p3 d3 plus and so on and this whole upon p1 plus p2 plus p3 plus and so on that is equal to summation pd upon summation p and the average due date is the date which falls after the zero date and it lies between the earliest and the latest dates of different payments and it is obtained by adding the equated time capital d to the zero date so this is the key idea that we use for this question let's move on to the solution now in the question we are given different payments with their due dates and we are supposed to find the average due date so the first due date is 6 april so we assume Let April six be the zero date. So April six is taken as the zero date. Now here we have made four columns in which we have the due dates and the payments and the number of days from zero date and P multiplied by D. So from the question we have the first due date as April six and the payment that is capital P in dollars for this due date is one sixty dollars. The number of days from the zero date would be zero since the zero date is April six itself, and for this P multiplied by D would be. Zero. That is one sixty multiplied by zero is zero. Now next due date is thirtieth April and its payment is two thirty dollars. So here we have April thirty with two thirty dollars of payment and the number of days from zero date. That is number of days from April six. 
टू इक्वल थर्टी वुड बी ट्वेंटी फोर अब है पी मल्टीप्लाइड बाई डी दैट इज टू थर्टी मल्टीप्लाइड बाई ट्वेंटी फोर इज फाइव फाइव टू जीरो Now again, from the question we have, the next due date is 17th May, and the respective payment is 150 dollars. So here we have May 17, and the payment is 150 dollars, and number of days from 6th April, that is the zero day, to May 17 is 41, and here P multiplied by D is. Six one five zero. Now the next due date is twenty sixth May with payment two hundred dollars. So here we have May twenty six with the respective payment as two hundred dollars and the number of days from the zero date that is April six to May twenty six is fifty and P multiplied by D is ten thousand. Now let's find out solution P, which is equal to 160 plus 230 plus 150 plus 200, which is 740. Now solution PD is equal to 0 plus 5520 plus 6150 plus 10,000, and that is equal to 21670. Now from the key idea formula for The equated time of payment, that is capital D, is equal to submission P D upon submission P. So, equated time of payment, that is capital D, is equal to submission P D upon submission P, which is equal to two one six seven zero upon seven forty. Here zero zero cancels, and two one six seven upon seventy four is equal to twenty nine point two eight days. Or you can say equated time of payment that is capital D is equal to twenty nine days. So we have rounded off twenty nine point two eight to twenty nine. So we get capital D as twenty nine days. So the fraction of the days are neglected in favor of the creditor. And we know that average due date is the date which falls after the zero day, and it is obtained by adding the equated time capital D to the zero date. So, the average due date is equal to twenty nine days from the zero date, which is sixth April. And this is equal to fifth May. Therefore, we have the average due date is equal to fifth May. This is our final answer. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.